This is Tesco trying to uh, reorganise the way that some of its stores are run, and that's you mentioned in that uh, sequence uh, just now, Jane. They're creating these new roles of shift leaders, which will replace the, some existing uh, management roles. Uh, the other uh, factor of that, the 350 localised moves that are being made, is essentially a closure of Tesco's remaining uh, hot and deli counters in outlets. It's seen a decline in uh, demand for those services over recent years, and also they are closing uh, eight local farms pharmacies as well, taking those jobs in store. And together with the closure of an operations centre in Milton Keynes, they also think uh, that will uh, bring to a total some 350 uh, roles altogether. Now, it's worth pointing out, Tesco making clear that uh, not only will there be some 1,800 shift leader roles created as a result of this uh, upheaval, uh, they currently have some 2,000 in-store vacancies as well. So, net-net, it doesn't really appear as though uh, Tesco is actually cutting its headcount. It's, it's it's merely reallocating roles and positions. Now, that uh, may involve uh, potentially some workers uh, suffering a cut in pay should they switch from one of the older roles to one of the newly created roles. Uh, there's a statement here from Jason Tarry. He's the uh, UK Republic of Ireland chief executive of Tesco. And Jason Tarry says these are difficult decisions to make, but they are necessary to ensure we remain focused on delivering value for our customers wherever we can, as well as ensuring our store offer reflects what our customers value the most. Our priority is to support those colleagues impacted and help find alternative roles within our business from the vacancies and newly created roles that we have available. Now, of course, the uh, bigger backdrop to this is that all of the uh, supermarket uh, operators are peddling incredibly hard right now to prevent uh, having to pass on inflation costs that they're seeing, input cost inflation, to customers and trying to keep their prices competitive. And to that end, we're seeing a number of uh, changes across the industry right now. Only last week... Uh, ASDA announced that it was making uh, some uh, 211 shift managers redundant and uh, changing the working hours of a further 4,100 employees across the business. So it's, and it's an incredibly difficult time. I think the bigger backdrop to this is that all of the gro grocery multiples are trying to keep a lid on inflation where they can and uh, run themselves more efficiently where possible.